In this video, we are going to learn how to solve the sum of the geometric progression recursive calculator easily in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. And after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving sum of geometric progression recursive calculator in a matter of seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. So ensure you stay with me till the end of this video. Okay. Now let's look at this typical example. I have here and solve it together because after solving this example together with you in this video, you will be able to replicate the same solution for other questions you'll be seeing under some of the geometric progression in the castle calculator. Okay, so the question here says the first term of a geometric series is seven, and the fifth term is five hundred and sixty-seven. Find the sum of the first nine terms. All right, so let's read the castle calculator. Now, this video is a continuation of my first video on geometric progression. My first video, I treated or I thought how to find common ratio number of terms of a geometric progression. So, if you have not watched that video, I'm sure you watch it. Very important so that you will get the full details of other problems involving geometric progression. Okay, having known that, now, the first thing you have to do with this calculator is a clear. I, I only recommend that, very important, so that you will be on the safe side. Clearly, what you do is to reset your calculator to be in default mode, so that you not interfere with whatever present calculation you want to do, because you may not remember whether you have done other calculations with the calculator in different mode, so to get a safe side, you clear to put it in the default mode. To do that, press shift button nine. Then it's watch on the clear or I press three. Then press record two. Press record two again. Now I have cleared it. So to solve this particular problem, we go to mode. Then when you go to mode, we are going to work with statistics. So start is option three. Press three. So once you get there, this is very very important. Very very. Critical. When, when you miss it here, you have missed 90% of the problem. If I find 95, if I realize 90, okay, let me say 95% of your solution with this calculator. So, this is very important. For geometric progression, you go with option C. If you are solving AP, arithmetic progression is option 2, you will go with. But for GP, is what option 6. Very, very what important. So, let's press option 6 now. Let's impute the values for x value. x values will be your terms in the question. So in this question, how many terms? There are two terms. We have first term and the fifth term. So impute them respectively. We have first term. Per quarter, we enter. have the fifth term. Okay. So we'll go to the other column and put the values there so when the first time there is what let's check again the first time is seven yeah the first time is seven so you put seven for equal to the fifth time is what five six seven so that's the fifth time hope it's correct yeah it's correct so now take note that they are imputing the values the calculator is storing them automatically so having done imputing the values, that's wipe it, press SC. So not that we have wiped it, the values we stored, I'm not gonna, they are still there. Because as we are imputing them, the calculator was storing them automatically. It's not go out until you clear calculator, that's the only time to go out. As long as you don't clear the values remain there until you clear. Put it in the fourth mode again. So, so having known that, let's go ahead and find what we have to find. Also, find the sum of what the first nine terms. Okay, so as you all know, in mathematics and statistics, be precise, sigma is for summation. Okay, so when, when I'm looking for mean more than, yeah, yes, mean is statistics there, but the work with sigma and the rest of them. So, Sigma F S over Sigma F. There's given the five mean statistics. So to bring out Sigma in this calculator, 
you press shift log this is log this is my command so once you bring a signal please signify or submission we are asked to find the sum of the word press nine terms so you press after bringing the signal next you have to press to bring out the specs well i found what this button x to come out then once you have put this x the next thing you have to impute there one symbol very very important symbol without it every other thing you are doing will not make sense so to bring the symbol you press shift but when we look at one code, it's stacked on top of it. So you press it. Then regression option five. So this is the same work we are looking for. This same wonder option five again. So it's the same. Take note of it. Don't go and go with the wrong one. So you have to take note of this particular symbol. So you press option five and it will enter. So once you have done this, you put comma to so separate uh, one and now we put subsequently so to bring a comment press shift this button that has x or top of it to come out then we have some of the of the first nine times so press one now put comment again then press nine let's check again yeah it's the first nine times nine times so once you have done it now note that this is the beauty of it that's why it's important to get the idea. The idea is very important. With the idea, you can replicate it for other similar problems you encounter when they change the values. So, I think we ask to find some of the first 20 towns. All you simply do when you get to this stage, you change the 9 and put 20. Some of the first 50 towns, change the 9 and put 50. Some of the first 200 towns, change the 9 and put 200 in that order, in that sequence. So, you understand what I'm saying here. I hope you do. So, I mean, um, Noted that let's go to the back end now, then press record to get our final answer. The sum very, very interesting. So let's record it. All right, so this is the sum the first nine times. The value there is what 68,887. So that this is it. This is the answer to this question. It's as simple as that. But we got value. You learn something very interesting that will make your work easier for you. So with this, we are coming kind of in the class. If you are new to our channel, you should subscribe to our channel. For more of our videos, also like, share, and comment on this video, guys. You should to tell me how you feel on this video. So if you seem to have any specific question to ask, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below, and I'm sure to give you a response. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to check us for the first video on geometric progression. I leave the link to it in the description of this video below. So check the description of this video. You know, you see the link to the first video on geometric progression so that you can learn how to solve a common ratio number of times in geometric progression, and you'll be glad you did. So, thanks, guys, for watching this video.